Hey everyone, Anthony here, and today I'm smoking the Tabernacle by Foundation Cigars. So Tabernacle, the owner of Foundation Cigars, Nick Malello, came up with this blend. You know, Nick's background is he spent many years at the Drew Estate Factory. As a matter of fact, he had a hand in choosing the original Liga Pravada blend, and it really shows in this Tabernacle. You know, what I mean by that is it has a signature Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, actually grown in the U.S., true Connecticut wrapper, grown in the River Valley up in Connecticut. You know, I'm a huge fan of broadleaf tobacco. I always love the way it plays with different blends, Nicaraguan tobacco, Dominican tobacco. You know, the makeup of the cigar is really intriguing. Uh, it's a beautiful broadleaf wrapper. It has a Mexican binder, right? And it has two growing regions in Nicaragua and also one in Honduras. And let's break that down now. Connecticut broadleaf, what does it do to a blend? It has natural sweetness to it. It really is a round, rich flavor that you get from broadleaf. Then you're talking about Mexican binder, right? Mexican tobacco was known for its excellent combustion quality, so it's burn quality, but also the flavor that it adds to a cigar. It's a little earthy, a little sweet, but it has great combustion. Then the growing regions inside the cigar. There's tobacco from Esteli in Nicaragua and Jalapa in Nicaragua, and in Honduras from Hamastran. So what you have there at play, tobacco from Esteli tends to be big, bold, peppery, strong tobacco, right? Tobacco from Jalapa in Nicaragua is known for being very aromatic, more of a milder tobacco, but very flavorful, but more aromatic. And then the Hamastran in Honduras, that tobacco was also known as having aromatic qualities to it, sweetness to it, and earthiness to it. So you have a lot going on with this blend. And I, make it, I think it makes it for a phenomenal combination of different flavors. You know, it has really rich notes, like raisiny qualities to it. You actually even pick up notes of coffee and like cola, which is a really cool combination. Then when you think about the tobaccos on the inside, you know, the tobacco from Esteli has that driving kind of spice note mixed with those cola notes, that raisiny quality. And then the aromatic tobacco from Jalapa and also from Hamastran. You know, you're talking about a, a very complete blend and a very nuanced blend. And I like that, you know, when, when you have something to eat and it's sweet and it's salty at the same time, there's kind of that contrast, you get that with this Tabernacle. Because you get the sweetness of the wrapper, you get those sweet notes from those aromatic tobaccos in the filler. Then there's that driving tobacco from Esteli to let you know it's there. You know, strength-wise, I put the cigar definitely at medium to full, and I'm just kind of getting into the first third of the cigar, and it's already kind of picking up a little bit. It starts off more medium, but because I've smoked the cigar in the past, I'm a big fan of it, by the way, I know it's gonna build in strength and develop as I smoke it. You know, and it's one of those brands that's gained wild popularity in recent time. I mean, I think it's a very popular brand for people that are looking for something just a little outside the box, you know. You know, I consider Foundation still part of like that boutique world. You know, it's more small batch, um, but talking about a wildly popular blend, and honestly, for good reason. It's a phenomenal blend. You know, if you're a fan of Nicaraguan Maduros, you know, with a broadleaf wrapper, or even if it's just a Maduro from Nicaragua, this is gonna suit you. And obviously, if you're a fan of broadleaf especially, this one's gonna really stand out to you. Yeah, I can definitely understand why there's a great buzz about this cigar. It's outstanding construction. As you can see, it's burning perfectly. The flavor notes are excellent. There's a great combination of sweetness and spice. And I could definitely see what Nick Malella was thinking when he came up with this blend. You know, it kind of harkens back to the Liga Pravada days when I taste this cigar. It's very reminiscent of it. So if you're a Liga Pravada fan for sure, you definitely want to seek out the Tabernacle because it's going to be in that same wheelhouse for sure. So I want to thank you for joining me. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, but before we depart, make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you here next time.